There was a recent post on 4chan about some apparent Legend ZA leaks and rumors, so who knows if this is true or not. Remember, with all these leaks, take them with a grain of salt because they may or may not be true. Some of this might be true and some of this might not be true. Maybe there's like one part of this, you know, maybe one part of this post actually will come true and the other parts just aren't. Or maybe this guy has a reputable source that tells him this and maybe things can change during development and everything. So take everything with a grain of salt. So if you guys don't mind leaving a like on the video, commenting down below, and subscribing to the channel, it really helps so much. And I appreciate every single one of you that does support the channel. So it starts off saying set in Miar City, which I believe Miar or Miar, whatever that, I don't know, whatever that is, actually translates to Lumios City. So it is in Lumios City, which, you know, I'm pretty sure we can confirm that's true because I'm pretty sure on the official website of like Pokemon, it said takes place in Lumios City or something like that. But it says Miar is explorable with an underground section that leads to forest and mountains. So that right there is huge to me because that, that was my main concern. Like wh where are the forest going to be? You know, where the trails, the grass, like, where, where's all that stuff going to be? Because if it in the city, are we going to be able to hunt Pokemon like we normally can in every other Pokemon game any, you know, ever made? So I, I'm going to assume that this is probably going to be the case. I feel like an underground section makes sense within a city, and especially within a Pokemon game. And especially that'll lead to forests and mountains and stuff. I think that's great, and it's going to give us that, you know, Pokemon feel if we're actually exploring for Pokemon out in the wilderness. So... That is major to me. I think that's the most important thing of this entire rumor or leak. It says you start off in South Boulevard but unlock more avenues as you progress or progress, whatever. Sounds right. Yeah, that sounds pretty pretty average, pretty typical. That's pretty much what I could assume. You that's basically how all Pokemon games are. You start in one area and you unlock others. Scarlet and Violet were a little different though. You kind of can explore wherever you want unless you had to unlock certain abilities with Corridor and Meridon to like climb or fly and stuff like that. But for the most part, you could explore anything. But with most Pokemon games, you start in one area and you just unlock as you go on. This next one says you are hired under the flare for the future. Rough translation, so maybe actually named something different. Um, campaign to renovate Miar or Lumio City. That is pretty cool. There have been a couple leaks and rumors that people are saying that you actually are hired by Flare, the team Flare, and renovating the Lumio City would make sense by the, you know, the reveal trailer because it kind of seems like we got some schematics and it seems like the Lumio City is being built and then we go into the future. So I'm really excited to see how that part actually, you know, happens within the storyline and in the game. And it's kind of a cool concept that we're being hired by team Flare. Like the enemy team is more so like, probably won't seem like the enemy team at the start it'll probably they'll probably pretend like they're good or they're the good guys compared to you know how they're usually immediately brought up as the bad guys next up it says by completing side quests like capturing pokemon you can unlock new shops features etc that's great i think that reminds me of a lot of open world games now especially hogwarts because you unlock new shops to walk into in like hogsmeade and stuff as you play progress through the game so this is really cool and it gives you more of like more of a purpose and a reason to actually go out and explore capture new pokemon like legends rcs also had a pretty good system that made you want to go out and explore and capture new pokemon but this makes sense because it's taking place in lumio city where you know it's a city there's a ton of buildings and in scarlet and violet you couldn't really go in many of the buildings most of them were blocked off you could go in a select few but this is pretty cool and i'm excited to actually see how the system of walking into a building works like is it going to be a physical place where you could actually walk in or is it just going to bring up a menu like as you go up to the door it's just going to bring up like a pop-up screen of like oh what do you want to buy here i think it'd be cool to be able to walk in the actual building physically and walk around inside kind of like how you can walk into a pokestop and everything i think that sounds great i think that's a a great feature that that most likely will be in the game i feel like so far all of these these first four potential rumors or leaks seem pretty accurate they, they seem really reasonable and you know i could see all of these happening so far next up it says kello starters return can wear clothing like in let's go pikachu eevee all three wear ribbons showing where they i'm gonna assume that says where they're from or something like that or where they originated not really sure because the screenshot that i got online i can't see some of the text but it sounds cool so i don't know if this is saying the starter poke the kello starter pokemon will be the starter pokemon again in this game or not I mean, it's kind of, you know, I kind of figured they would return anyways, though. Cool that you can customize your clothing, though. That's great. That makes sense, you know, if we could walk into shops and unlock new shops and, and uh, buildings and stuff that we could probably, we'll probably have some clothing stores in there. So that sounds cool. Chespin is from Galar. Fennekin is from Hoenn. Greninja is from Unova. 
Galar Chestnut is a magical knight. Hohen Delphox is a is a cleric. I don't know. It's a cleric, I guess. Unova Greninja is an aviator slash fly. I'm going to say like fly. I don't know what that actually would say. But an aviator. So it looks like they're going to get some new forms, which is really cool. Which honestly really makes sense that we're getting new forms of these Pokemon. I'm really excited to see how they look. I think everyone kind of assumed that we'd get new forms of, you know, the Kalos starters. That's going to be really cool to see. I wonder what other... Um, regional variants we're going to get or i guess different forms that we're going to get mega stones must be mastered through use in battle or receive the blessing of xerneas and yveltal that's pretty interesting so it seems like xerneas and yveltal will kind of eventually be a part of our team in a way maybe similarly to how like cordon of meridon is kind of in our team so or maybe we'll just press a button and it'll call them in that sounds pretty interesting to me and Mega Stones must be mastered through use in battle. Okay, so kind of a little different use of Mega Evolutions, I'm going to assume. So it looks like Zygarde is going to get a new form, which I kind of figured would make sense. To Some people say Zygarde probably won't get a new form, but I feel like he would. Like, why wouldn't he get a new form? You know, he has like his... I can't remember the exact percentages, but it's like 10, 50, 100% form, something like that. Um, into his minus percent form, so we're going in the negative, so I wonder what that would look like. Would that be like microscopic pieces, or maybe it'll be like, he'll be a huge? I don't really know. That sounds pretty cool, though. I'm really interested to see that, and especially with Xerneas and Yveltal. I wonder if we'll get new forms of Xerneas and Yveltal, or even like other popular forms, or other popular um, Pokemon like Mewtwo. I think a lot of people want Mew a new Mewtwo evolution, that would be pretty cool. Each plaza is an arena ruled by a mega Pokemon gone berserk, some are new megas. So this reminds me instantly of how like Legends Arceus, you would fight some boss Pokemon to advance through the storyline. That's probably exactly how it's going to be, but some are going to be new megas, which is really cool. Mega Pokemon are confirmed to come back, which you could assume that we're going to get some brand new mega evolutions. Why wouldn't we, you know what I'm saying? Like, wh Why would they give us a game with megas and not give us new megas? So. Some are new Megas, that's huge, and new Pokemon, and Pokemon Gun Berserk, so we're going to have to probably fight some boss battles before we fight a gym or something like that. That sounds pretty nice, pretty cool, Give us gives us also more of a reason to like upgrade our Pokemon out in, out in the wild and everything. Mega Furret is many Furrets wrapped around a tall Furret. Mega Flygon, hopefully that's true, everyone's been wanting Mega Flygon forever. It was supposed to come into the game, I'm pretty sure X and Y, and it got scrapped. And then, so Mega Flygon has a tail with a trap pinch, and then some text I can't see, and it says the only one so far was a Copperaja made of stone, it carries a fortress on its back. So maybe that's another Mega, Mega Copperaja or something like that. This sounds really reasonable. I think out of all the potential leaks and rumors, this sounds logical and reasonable. Like, there's nothing too crazy in here. I think the craziest thing would probably be, like, different forms of the of the Kalos starters and maybe, you know, Xerneas and Yveltal and maybe even also the Zygarde new form. But overall, I think this seems pretty, pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts are though. I'm really interested to see how you guys perceive this. What do you think is going to be in the game? And are you excited about the game? Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.